Here on Earth, the internet is powered by a web of fiber optic cables. But how would it work on Mars? NASA has a plan to put settlers on the red planet, so there's a chance people you know may live there someday. But when they do, they'll want high-speed internet. The problem is, space internet can be as slow as dial-up. That's because current methods rely on old-school radio transmissions. This wouldn't work very well for Martians looking to stream or chat in real time. At their nearest, Mars and Earth are 34 million miles apart. And that's why, with today's tech, transmissions between Mars rovers and Earth have a delay of about 20 minutes. Since we can't run internet cables between planets, we'll need to use satellites differently than we do now. NASA thinks lasers may be the answer. A laser wave is about 100,000 times shorter than a radio wave, which means there's more room to carry data in the same amount of space, about five times more. Smaller waves also mean better signal strength and a more reliable connection. Fortunately, the tech we need already exists. In a mission called the Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration, NASA tested laser transmission speeds that shattered previous records. Experts believe lasers will be able to handle high-definition videos and more. Today, radio messages to Mars are routed through retired satellites, but the network would need more and newer satellites to handle data-heavy requests such as streaming. NASA is focused on upgrading and adding to existing satellites in order to build a laser-powered space internet network. So how would the internet work on Mars? Much the way it works on Earth, just with lasers and satellites instead of cables. We have some work to do, but the future of movie marathons on Mars looks pretty bright.